guys it's Charmel welcome back to my channel today I'm here with a throwback video on how I used to blend my transitioning hair with my curly units so let's jump right into it all information on this hair will be linked down below I did do a full like review on it so I'll leave it down below but this is a unit that I made and it's I'm wearing it as a flip over method I did have like a small closure piece in it but yeah now I'm just going to apply it to my head and I do sew my units down so this was sewn down now I use two kind of rollers I use small flexi rods and small perm rods I use setting foam and some type of edge control so I'm going to start with this small section and I'm going to section it off and just apply a little water just so that when my hair molds it kind of sets in place and I grab a curl from the unit and I just kind of mold and blend my hair into that curly unit. I start with some setting foam and I just saturate my leave out. And then I go in with my edge control and I just kind of dab that along. I put too much, but I just kind of dab that around the base of the section and brush it in. And I'm brushing it into the curl you can see here and then I'm going to take my rod I kind of twist my hair in with the hair at the root just so that it kind of holds then I'm going to take my perm rod and I'm just going to wrap and I'm keeping it tight and wrapping it very close and I'm going to wrap until I get to the end of my natural hair and then once I do that then I'm just going to clip it off I do not wrap it all the way to the end of the hair because I really just want the my natural hair and the roots of the curly hair to mimic each other and then whatever's loose it's going to blend with the rest of the hair. I'm hoping this makes sense but now I'm going to start on another section and this time I'm going to show you guys how it works with the flexi rod set. So I do the same steps where I take a piece of my curly wig, just take a curl, and I lay my natural hair against that, spray it with water, take setting foam just to help mold it. Then I take my edge control and I dab that along my edges and then I brush it into my real hair in the curl. And then I'm going to take the flexi rod and basically do the same thing as I did with the perm rod. I'm wrapping it right at the base and then when I get to the end of my real hair I will close it off um, I kind of prefer the way that the perm rod looks however the flexi rods are easier or more comfortable to sleep in but they do give you a similar look so now I'm just going to continue to do that all along the perimeter of my head and like I said this is an old video that never got uploaded before I big chopped um, this was filmed back in like September of last year I want to say so I have since big chopped and I actually did a video with some curly hair with my natural hair so I'll link that somewhere in this video but yeah now I'm just going to continue to put these rods in
And once I get all the rods in my hair, I usually put a head scarf around my perimeter and put the long hair in like a ponytail and sleep in it overnight. And so this is how it looks the next morning. So I'm gonna begin by taking down my pineapple. And I recommend um, fixing the ends of the hair first before taking the rollers down. So you see I have a couple frizzy pieces just from it being up in that bun. So I'm just gonna spray it with some water and make sure that I get the weave part of the hair or the wig per se, you know, defined and blended out first before I take my rollers out. Now when you're taking out the rollers, you definitely want to take your time. You want to make sure you don't disturb the curl that you just created and you don't want to cause the hair to get too frizzy. And because this hair is super long, it does get kind of tangled around each other. So definitely take your time and gently pull the curls off. And as you see, this is how it looks once I take it off. And you can't even see where my natural hair starts and where the curly hair begins so yeah i'm just going to take all of these rollers out like so And I know it's 2018 and a lot of people are out here wearing closures and frontals. However, I'm a purist when it comes to wigs. I just love leave out, especially when it comes to natural, not natural hair, but curly hair per se. I just like the way that a natural hairline looks with like baby hairs and stuff. So um, obviously if you don't want to do all of this, you can get a closure or a frontal. But yeah, this is how it looks. And now I'm just going to style it to my liking. And if you do find that some pieces don't kind of fall right, you can always go in with like bobby pins and just kind of pin it into place until you get it set how you want it and then I also go in and just kind of um, if you see some of my roots are kind of frizzy so I do go in eventually and just kind of gel those down and fix those but yeah this is pretty much what I was doing when I was transitioning and wearing curly hair and this is how it looks once it's finished like I said I do have a full review on this hair so i'll link that video down below if you're interested in this hair but thank you all for watching i hope that this helps with some of you ladies who are still transitioning and i'll see you all next time bye